Keith McPherson here for Talking Nets. Malika Andrews just reported that KD will not play tomorrow night against the Clippers. He will miss his fourth game on this West Coast trip for the Nets. And it got me to thinking, right? Nets fans had to wait 540 days to see Kevin Durant play his first official game as a Net. He signed on July 1st, 2019. He played his first game December 22nd, 2020. That is one year, five months, and 21 days. And today is exactly 600 days since we signed KD. This season, KD has played in 19 games, really 18, because I can't count that game against Toronto where they pulled him off the court twice, breaking his streak of 867 games started in the NBA. So let's say he's played 18 games this season out of the 30 two that we'll have played as of tomorrow that's only one more than James Harden who's played 17 in the 38 days he's been on the team Kevin Durant has missed seven games from injury rest the uh, last four have been from his hamstring he's had three games off for load management with the Achilles injury Katie has missed six games from COVID and he hasn't tested positive so that's on the NBA we put out free KD shirts and he missed a week comes back injures his hamstring against the Golden State Warriors and now he's been out with that injury, most people know hamstrings are lingering injuries. They're tough. Uh, but this big three has only played six games together. I think they're five and one in those six games. And I think that one loss was against Toronto. I don't know. As a fan, I just want to see the best player in the NBA play for my team. But I guess the Nets aren't trying to show their hand out West against the best teams in the West. But I can't really subscribe to that theory because it's way too early to think about who we'd be playing against in the finals. I'm going to say that Katie's hamstring is bothering him and there's no use playing him out west. We've played well without him. Uh, the guys have stepped up, played better defense. Guys are shooting great without KD. We do need KD out there to get in rhythm with the team as they are getting better, as they are starting to gel. But what can you say, man? It's a West Coast trip. Maybe they won't play him until Tuesday against the Kings when the Brooklyn Nets have fans in the stands. At this point, maybe the Nets just shut him down for the All-Star break, and then he doesn't play in the All-Star game. And then he comes back and he finishes the second half of the season strong. Uh, after tomorrow, we've got five games left in the first half of this season. The only team that will play that's above 500 is the Spurs. Let's just hope KD isn't really that hurt. Let's just hope this is all precaution. Like I said, we all want to see the best player in the NBA play for our team. But it's important to realize that the goal here is to win a championship. And these are just regular season games. And once again, this Nets team is winning games. We're on a five game winning streak. The Nets are playing just fine without KD. But free KD, we want to see the guy play for the Nets.